perfect timing, Dave. I just finished our cool kid animation. <laughs> Sweet. Roll that shit. Yes, let's make shit take place. Dave Strider, who was Bro Strider's brother, was one day in an office typing on a computer. He got a pester chump message from his brother that said aliens and monsters were attacking his place and asked him for help, so he went. Dave Strider got his computer shut down and went on the platform to go up to the roof of the building where he left his motorcycle and normal people clothes because he was in his ectobiology lab coat. Dave Strider got on his motorcycle and said, It's time for me to live up to my family name and face full life consequences. So he had to go. Dave Strider ramped off the building and did a backflip and landed. He kept driving down the road and made sure there was no imps around because he didn't have weapons. The countrysides were nice and the plants were singing and the birds and the sun was almost down from the top of the sky. The mood was set for Dave Strider's quest to help his brother where he was. Dave Strider looked around the countrysides and said, It's a good day to do what has to be done by me and help my brother to defeat the enemies. Dave Strider was late so he had to drive really fast. An authority regulator was hidden nearby, so when Dave Strider went by, the agent came and wanted to give him a ticket. Here, Dave Strider saw the first monster because AR was possessed by Gamzy Makara. I can't give you my license, officer. Dave Strider said. Why not? Said the ICP officer back to Dave Strider. Because you are clown zombie! So Dave Strider stabbed the officer in the head and drove off thinking, My brother is in trouble there! And went faster! <sighs> Dave Strider had to go faster like the speed of sound and got there fast because Bro needed him where he was. Dave Strider looked at road signs and saw Loas with someone's writing under it saying, You shouldn't come here! So Dave Strider almost turned around but heard screaming like Bro, so he went faster again. Dave Strider drove in and did another flip and jumped off his motorbike, and the motorbike took out some clown zombies in front of Dave Strider. Dave Strider smiled and walked fast. Dave Strider then looked on the ground and found weapons, so he picked it up and slashed fast at zombie ghosts in front of the house. Dave Strider said, Zombie ghosts, leave this place. And the zombie ghost said, But this is our house. And Dave Strider felt sorry for them because they couldn't live there anymore because they were zombie ghosts. So he blew up the house and killed the zombie ghosts so they were at peace. Dave Strider heard another scream from his brother so he kept walking really faster to get where he was. Low odds was nothing like the countryside. There was no birds singing and the plants were dead and Tate Dirt was messy and bloody from rainbow Whoa. drinkers. Whoa. When Dave Strider got to where the screaming was started from, he found his brother Bro Strider fighting the denizen. And Bro said, Dave Strider, over here. So Dave Strider went there to where Bro Strider was fighting. Dave Strider threw to his sword really fast and the sword went and stabbed the final boss in the eyes and the denizen couldn't see. <laughs> Bro Strider said, It's time to end this once and for all. And punched the denizen in the face and the denizen fell. <laughs> Dave Strider said, Thanks, I could help, Bro. And Bro Strider said, You should come here earlier next time. And they laughed. <laughs> <laughs> The laughed over quickly, though, because Dave Strider yelled, Look out, bro! And pointed up to the top of the sky. Bro Strider looked up and said, No, Dave Strider, run out of here fast as you can. And Dave Strider walked really fast out. Dave Strider locked back and saw Bro get stepped on by Jack Noir, and he was mad and angry. I'll get you back, evil archagent! Dave Strider yelled at the top of the lungs. To be continued? Literally me.